Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue. I'm going to show you how to use our Dreamy Newborn Mini Kit. So let me go ahead and just kind of walk you through what's included in this awesome little kit for your newborn images. It's amazing. It's every everything you'll need. And it's just a great little kit to get those images looking good and fixing those newborn editing problems that are so common. So. Um, let's go ahead and look at what's included. We have two different blanket fades, a smooth soft one and a subtle natural one. So they have different levels of blurring involved. Smooth baby skin, bye bye red skin. As you can see, um, a lot of newborns have pretty red spots that need to be kind of toned down. Bye bye jaundice, so this helps with yellow skin. Bye bye blue lips, it also works on blue fingers and toes as well that is, is so common among newborns. Um, there are four creamy brush on skin tones to help give a beautiful, pleasing skin tone. Um, spot sharpening brush, which is great for the eyelashes and lips. Spot um, Saturation brush, if you need just a little bit more saturation in certain areas. Then there's desaturation if something is just a little bit too um, saturated with color. Warm up, cool down, color cast correction. And then we have some toning. Um, these are overall image toning actions that help to um, finish off your image and give it a beautiful look. All right, so let's go ahead. We won't be using every single one of these because this image doesn't really call for it. Um, but let's do the blanket fade smooth soft. So we'll click play. And it says use a soft black brush and paint over the mask to erase the fade effect. And then use the soft white brush to paint over the mask to reveal more blanket fade, okay? So obviously there's too much fade around the head. So I'm gonna use my black brush, uh, my brush, make sure it's set on black and make sure it's nice and soft. I'm gonna move the, the flow to 100. I'm just gonna brush it off right around the head. Okay. All right, so there's a nice fade back here of the blanket. So before and after, so you can see how it's done a nice fade there. If you want more fade, you can drop down the option here and click on the more fade layer mask and then just increase the saturation or increase the opacity. So there it's a bit more faded before and after. Okay, so before and after. Okay. So now we are going to do smooth baby skin. So select the action, click play. And you are going to use your paintbrush. Make sure it's set to white because the effect is hidden. So you want to brush it on to activate it and just start brushing it right on. And it's going to help smooth out that skin. Okay, and you can lower the opacity to suit your taste. So I'm just gonna lower it probably around 80. So before and after. Okay, so let's use the Bye Bye Red Skin because there's quite a bit of red on this. All right, with a soft white brush, paint on the black layer to say Bye Bye to Red Skin, and then just op adjust the opacity to taste. Okay. So I'm going to use some kind of around the nose. And as you can see, it's removing a lot of that red toning. And right here on the fingers.
Actually, I'm just going to use it mostly everywhere because I like the yellow skin tone it's providing. Okay, so before and after. All right, um, he's not too jaundiced, so we're gonna skip that. We'll do Bye Bye Blue Lips because there's a bit of, um, the lips aren't as pink as I would like. So we're gonna go ahead and just brush a little bit of that on here. And maybe a little bit on the tips of the fingers. And the edges here, I see any bluish or purple. Okay, so before and after. Okay, now let's take a look at the brush on skin tones. Okay, so you can go through and test these. Um, I would just do a quick test. You can just do an overall. That one's too pink, so I'm not gonna use that. I think that's the color I'm gonna want. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this right on and I can adjust the opacity after the fact. Okay, I don't think I want it back there. So let's just end with his shoulder. Okay, now I'm just gonna lower that opacity and before and after. So it's a nice, warm, soft skin tone. Okay, so we'll do spot sharpening on his eyelashes. You can't see them very well in this image, but I kind of want to show you how this works. So I'm just going to apply it right there to the lashes. It's a little bit strong, so I'm going to lower the opacity. And there you go. And then I don't think I want to use the saturation brush at all on these. Let me see what the warm up is going to look like on this image. It's a little too warm for my taste. So I'm just going to wait until I use the quick tones. Okay. So let me show you these quick tones. Stardust is a nice, bright, airy pastel color. Dreamland. A bit pink, so I'll probably lower it down a little bit to about right there. That's pretty. Sweet Dreams, it's more of a yellowish green tone. Light and Airy, it's pinker, so I'm just gonna lower that down. And I actually really like that one. That's probably the one I'm gonna choose. And then we have Black and White, which also looks awesome. Um, and it would be great to give your clients the choice between black and white color. And then you can also add a vignette. So I'm going to use the light and airy. Actually, I might blend that with Sweet Dreams because I like the warm yellowish tones. So light and airy and Sweet Dreams, and there it is. So let's look at a complete before and after before and after. So it makes a huge difference in this little tiny pack. You get so much bang for your buck and it handles all of the editing woes that are common to newborn photographers. Um, so we can't wait to see what you do with this. Um, head over to our Facebook group and share your before and afters. Ask for feedback or help. It's an awesome group of people and we cannot wait to see you over there.